Hi, my name is Ian Gack, the Explosive Swing. In this video, we're going to go over heel down progression drill. This is a great drill to help uh, hitters feel connected to the ground, keeping the back heel into the ground longer as we move through our swing to keep that heel connection with the ground. So uh, why heel connection is so important? It keeps us connected with the ground. When I'm saying connected, I mean we're pushing into the ground as we move forward, make down to out moves to create more force and more leverage, right? When I have all my weight I'm pushing into the ground and I'm making contact, now I have a solid foundation to hit from and transfer all my energy into the baseball or softball. A lot of hitters struggle with, especially when they make forward moves, to come off of their backside, tend to drift off, and now we're starting to send energy up and out in the, in the wrong directions. We want to keep all our energy driving through the baseball or softball. Um, or conversely, you'll see hitters too stay too far back and now we're sitting and spinning and at the same time um, we don't want to have that either right we want to be able to get to a centered position and basically hit from centered right transfer all my energy against the front side but remain centered okay so this drill helps with with that part of the swing the other part that it also is going to help with and this work hand in hand um, especially with those guys that tend to drift and lose connection early is they tend to be guys that push their hands and then also drop the back shoulder uh, too early, right? They start going this way, right? So now we end up going this way, pushing, we end up kind of dragging that barrel behind. We get a lot of slices. We're not able to deliver barrel head behind the ball as efficiently as we want to with our body behind us. So um, while it's not impossible, uh, keeping that back heel down as we do this drill becomes, you know, a lot harder for guys to push and get to a bad spot. Not impossible, you can definitely still do it, but it helps to reinforce staying nice and tall on the back side. And by tall, I'm meaning back shoulders staying up, not dropping this way, not tall standing up this way, right? We do want to have posture and, all, and, and the hips back, chest forward, right? In that good position. So how we perform the drill? It's a T drill, at least to start with. You know, you can progress it to, to uh, side toss and front toss, and I highly encourage that, but I always want guys to start with a T on this. Um, Typically, I like to work away first, but then move to middle, and then you can even go to the inside with it. So when we set up, first what we're going to do is we're going to get to our hitting position, right? So if you see my other videos, hitting position is we work down to out, and we get to a good athletic position. Knees are inside the feet, weights in the arches of the feet, heels through the arches through the big toe. Front foot's going to be 90 to 45, somewhere in that range. Back foot typically is going to be right about 90 degrees um, if it's angled off backwards then that's more individualized and there's reasons for doing that but typically most guys are in that 90 degree range pressure inside the knees right we're kind of like we're squeezing a big bouncy ball between our legs hips back chest forward right knob towards the catcher and from here all we're going to do is um take our swings right with the back heel down the front heel down we're not going to take a stride we're not going to fire the back side turn it or anything like that we're just going to load with the upper body gather behind and then just take our swing keeping the heel in the ground staying connected working for line drive rising line drives uh, to the opposite field with this okay um, notice too that depth of contact right so for the outside corner i'm lining this up with the inside half of my front knee or around my front knee right if it's off a little bit that's okay it doesn't have to be precise but that's where we want to start and then from there you can work to middle i'll do middle and then you can also work to end as well all right so now i'm lining up with my front foot and it's the same thing okay keeping the heel in the ground and when you have the heel in the ground and you start to swing you're going to start to feel kind of like uh, a pinch inside half of the back knee hopefully it's not painful but you should feel a little bit of a pinch it's kind of like you're you're, you're going to feel like your back knee kind of turning in and wanting, wanting to turn in and forward towards your front heel. That's gonna be the proper action of the back leg. So for guys especially that like to kind of push out with that back leg and kind of spin out and around, this is helpful uh, for that as well, okay? Next, after we um, take our swing, so typically, you know, depending on how the drill is going for the hitter or their ability level, I like sets of five, um, but you can definitely do more reps if you need to. But from there, what we're going to do is what I call backside fire. So you're going to be in the same position and you're going to pretend like you still are going to keep that heel planted in the ground, but now you're just going to let the backside fire through. Okay. So it's kind of like you need to rip that back foot out of the ground. 
right? And firing the back side. So you're just gonna get your load, feeling nice and centered with the body and firing that back side through. Um, good thing to do with these drills and any drill really is to hold your finish at the end, at least try to, right? And then see where you're at with your balance. And it's definitely okay to lose balance we just want to see, are you in good posture? And if you're losing balance, is it towards home plate? Or, you know, especially if you're doing this drill because you're a guy that likes to drift or push, now are you finishing the swing and are you way out front over your, back, uh, over your front side? Or conversely, are you sitting over your backside when you finish? Okay, so just, it's a good thing to do with the drill just to kind of see where you're at. From there, how we're going to progress the drill is to a stride load, right? Making our forward move, but we're still going to keep the back heel planted in the ground okay so again i'm going to start away find our depth of contact from my gets my hitting position right balls in line with my front knee or inside half of my front knee now i'm going to get to my normal stance and from here i'm just going to stride load work down to out and then i'm going to keep my back heel planted in the ground okay keeping the back heel planted in the ground now my back heel kind of came off the ground but you'll notice that it was coming off the ground, but it was a little bit was coming this way. I want to keep that back heel planted as best I can, but if it's going to come up a little bit, you want it to be coming up this way. Like, like you're, like I said, your back knee's turning in and forward towards your front heel and it's kind of being ripped off the ground, but we can still try as much as we can to keep our heel planted in the ground when we work it, when we're working this drill. Okay, still looking for rising line drives to all fields, no matter which, uh, where we're working in the zone. Okay, I've worked middle on this one. Again, line up with my front foot. Okay, and that's gonna be our forward move with keeping the back heel planted. And then from there, we just take our normal swing. Stride low, still feel like you're gonna keep that heel planted in the ground as we move forward. And then you're going to feel that backside need to be, that back foot needs to be ripped off the ground, inside half of that back knee firing in and forward towards the front foot, staying tall on the backside. Okay, and really good drill to do, like I said, especially for those hitters that tend to drift and tend to push and tend to collapse the backside. Um, also, hitters that tend to sit back and spin, all right? But it's also just a great drill to help you feel centered, right? We wanna swing from centered as we move forward, right? Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out explosiving.com.